Okay, here I am out in my garage, my workshop. It's cold, and uh, but anyway, I've been working on this amplifier. It's a Sano from 1966. It's got a 15-inch speaker in it. And when I got it, uh, somebody else had got it as a project amp, and they started working on it. And uh, it was pretty filthy. Uh, it had the uh, purchaser, the guy that I purchased it from, he had uh, replaced the output and uh, power transformers in it. And uh, anyway, I've done a lot of work on this. Uh, I had, I've, it's got 11 tubes, okay? And uh, I've got new power tubes, new rectifier, a couple tubes for the reverb were replaced. They were either all, they were all working. The, the darn thing actually worked when I got it. Um, not very well. The, the reverb uh, was, was horrible and squealing and doing all kinds of stuff. And anyway, um, I went through, first thing I did was I turned it on. I went through all my tubes, my tube testers and stuff. I replaced all the tubes, got everything. I got good tubes in there. Then I went through and um, I recapped the whole thing. And this is all bolted in now, but um, you can see the two cans over here. Um, those are JJ's. You know, they do work. Um, when I put them on the meter, they're 47s and 22s is what they really are under those cans. And, of course, I had to cut those holes open a little bit, so save some money, but spend a lot of time monkeying around with that. Now, this has, uh, has reverb. It has tremolo. You use a foot switch. I had to put together a foot switch for it. And it has a 15 inch speaker here. And over here, uh, it has a speaker for your reverb and, and uh, your, your what they call stereophonic. It's a really odd design. And when I went through it, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I've done a number of fenders and some Ampegs, and it's really quite different. Now, if you read online, they say, well, you know, there's some connection between Sano and Ampeg. And having worked on some Ampegs, I don't see it at all. It's, it's a completely, uh, the ideas that put this together are completely different. And it's almost like they decided to add reverb and tremolo, and they just added it as another afterthought rather than integrating it into the entire circuit. So this... Is basically the preamp section, and this is uh, your power section. So um, you can see most has been recapped, some new resistors and stuff. I had to put a new uh, socket in there, and my one power tube socket down here is new too. Lots of shorts, lots of bad wires. I put a lot of new wires and stuff in it. It, it, it was definitely a project. And, um, so I'm, and one of the reasons I'm doing this is because there's not a lot of information out there on these. However, they do have pretty good reviews. Um, if you read about them, people seem to think they're pretty good amps. And um, this may turn out to be pretty good. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of working on a few things. But um, this whole section here, when you plug in here, you don't have these controls. Don't don't do anything. Uh, you only have a master volume here in bass and treble. Um, and your tremolo doesn't work over here unless you're plugged in on this side. Once you plug in on this side, then your reverb and tremolo work. And there was a four pin microphone plug in here. This whole thing was a complete mess. The reverb was squealing, and I had all kinds of problems with it. I replaced the coupling capacitors, and that helped some. But what I found out was this section in here with this mic jack was really a mess. And so I ended up doing a bunch of rewiring here, and I put this switch in here. So now this switch, um, if you're on the left side over here, you're, you're up here. And if you're on the right side over here, you're, you're down here. So um, the reverb, uh, the reverb does work. Um, however, uh, this eight-inch speaker down here, which is the original speaker, I'm pretty certain it it sounds pretty shitty. Um, and the reverb tank does not have any identifying um, numbers on it. 
I've owned it out and all that stuff, so I think I can replace it, but I opened it up. There's only one spring in there. There must have been two springs at one time, but one apparently broke off. It does work. Um, you, can, you can hear it crashing around in there. So, you know, at this point, I don't know. Um, at, you know, I've, I haven't spent a lot of money on it. I've spent mostly time, but I don't know. Um, it would probably sound a lot better if I had a, a better tank and replaced this speaker. And I wouldn't mind seeing what it did to this speaker replaced too, but I, I'm not, I don't want to spend a lot more money on this. Um, however, so I'm just gonna kind of, uh, kind of go through this here. I've got my little donkey caster here. Um, so you can hear the tremolo. The tremolo actually works pretty nice on it. Um, and you can hear that. So you can hear, you know, the reverbs uh, working okay on it. So now. Um, again, this, you can see this isn't doing anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over now. I, what I've been doing is just put it on so it's not snapping and shit. I pull this over here, I put it into my guitar jack. You can hear, see I've got nothing now. So now I switch this, or oh, go back to standby. Okay, and then I'm going to switch this down. See my tremolos, you know, not working anymore. Okay, so if I take, I go back over here now, you can see. See, now I don't because my switch is in the down position. I've got nothing here until I switch that back up. So, anyway, um, to me, you know, if I had, again, if I had a lot of time, I would completely redo this whole section, but I don't really want to take all these controls out and do that right now. I want to kind of retain it because it is a vintage amp. And so, the only real mod I did was this here to get rid of, there was all kinds of shorts and everything going on there. So, Anyway, uh, if you have one of these, it does seem like a pretty decent amp, and uh, you know, it does, it's got some pretty good sound to it. I've spent a lot of time on this, but uh, anyway, if you've got one, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about yours, um, and we'll see. I've got to get a back built for it, and um, but I, I've run it now for several hours, and um, it, everything has seemed to be working okay. Um, it's a fixed bias um, amplifier, and like I said, I'm kind of have to stop and think before I want to put any more money into it right now and um, maybe somebody else would like it for a project or something um, I think it would be a lot better to have this reverb tank replaced and that speaker um, but anyway that's the Sano or Sano amplifier I think it's a 30 WT but there was never any paperwork or markings that came with it and it is what it is thanks for watching